What's going on there, guys? We're back with another one, and we got to talk about Coach Prime after the win over Arizona State. We saw Shador march them down again for yet another big win. And um, while everybody was happy, it seemed like, after the game, Coach Prime came into that press conference, and he was not thrilled in the fashion that they won. You have to understand his mindset, you know, He's not here to make the program mediocre. So he didn't like losing to USC. He didn't like losing to Oregon. He will never accept losing. And with that mentality is why they've been able to go um, four and two to this point. You know, that that's how you have a quick turnaround and you bring in the talent. You have the recruiting and everything else for sure. But he doesn't want to settle for mediocrity. And he was not holding back in this press conference, man. He let him have it. Let's check it out. Play like hot garbage. And I'm trying to figure this out. Sick of it. I really am. I'm, I'm sick of uh, us coming out here and putting forth the effort we put forth in the first half. And we've, we've filled practices. We've, we've had really uh, diligent meetings. And we're trying to figure this out. Trying to figure this out because I'm sick of it. I'm sorry. I'm 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 happy about the win, but I'm not happy in the fashion that we we wanted in. We're better than that. We really are better than that, and uh, we got to start showing that. I'm I'm a. I expect to win, and I expect to win in a better fashion than that. I'm, I'm sick of these consistent holes that we're displaying and the, the penalties and the things that we're doing we're so much better I apologize for, for my anger today but I don't accept mediocrity maybe you do maybe you can live with it maybe you sleep with it maybe you lie with it maybe you're comfortable with it but I'm not let's go that right. second drive that second drive was that kind of part of it there you called two timeouts you just <coughs> looked like you guys were really just trying to break through the wall and get a score well, it was like you, you mean the second drive of the game yeah it looks like it weren't okay coming away with nothing there, right? The second drive of the whole game. Yes. Yeah. What about the first drive? What about the first two right. plays? Right. How do you start out a game like that? Yeah. With a quarterback like this? What's the message to the teams to get them to? I've, I've, I've delivered every type of message you could, you could fathom. Um, it's not just the team. This is all of us. This is me and the coaches included. It's not just the team. They glean from us. Coach, there was, there was a drive late in the third quarter where you guys, I think Shador had sacked at the end of the drive. He goes off the side and he's sitting by himself. The offense is down here. He's mad. Yeah. He's I, upset with the tell. way this looks. You can tell he's, he's, he, upset. he's upset with the way it's going. He's upset with hit at the hit at the hit. You think he's happy being the most psyched guy in the during, uh in college football and he's still doing what he's capable of doing? It's, it's, he's sick of it. So when he comes out that next drive, I mean, that was the pivotal drive, I thought. How key was that drive, him coming out like that? And just Every drive is key. Every drive is key. He always does this. You've seen this every during week, man. This ain't new to you. You've seen this every week. You see him do this every week. It's like we're waiting on him to put on his cape and do what he does. That's what he does every week. You guys should be accustomed to it by now. Coach. Yes, sir. Um, through the first three quarters, kind of struggled trying to get into the eight. Yeah, that's normal for us. That's normal. Um, got three big sacks. Yes, sir. Late in the third quarter, early in the fourth quarter. What sort of the message should have? You know, it wasn't a message during the darn game. It's a, you got to go out there and do your darn jobs. I mean, uh, Coach Kelly, is, he's, he's calling He's calling a heck of a game. I'm listening. He's calling a heck of a game. We got guys that, that need to, to step up and do handle their responsibilities. First of all, there's no way a team should drive 96 yards on us to tie the game. No way. It's no way. Coach, you wanted to win the first and second quarter. You yeah. Didn't. You're obviously not happy about right. that. What do you got to do as a staff to get that message? You told us, I'm sure you told them. You got to do better. We got to put the kids in better situations. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Uh, I, uh, shoot, look at the darn stats. I mean, the targets. We, we got we to do better. We got to do better all the way around. Offensive, defensively, special teams. Start out. I mean, we start out not kicking a darn ball to the end zone, a uh, returnable ball. I don't know how everybody else kickers kick the ball out of the end zone, but ours. Coach, 
Greg Moore, Arizona Republic. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. You as well. You're generally so positive. It's kind of jarring when you see you. I have expectations, my brother. I'm sorry. You are right. I really do. I have greater expectations. And we're better than this. We really are. We're, we're better than this. But how do you turn this back into a positive message? Because that seems to connect a larger team. Got something bigger that this game is part of something. They, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta meet my. I'm not changing, so you gotta meet my expectations. And that starts in practice, that starts in film study, that starts in preparation, that starts in coaching, that starts all the way down the board. It ain't just the kids, it's everybody. I have lofty expectations for this team, for this school, for this university. I really do, and we're gonna get there. So, Coach Prime was a having it after this game. You look, they beat. Uh, they almost beat USC, right? They played a very good game at home, very spirited, and you look to carry that over um, against such a formidable opponent. You got this Arizona State team, one and four, so he wanted to see if everyone came out with that same level of emotion and that same level of passion to go ahead and dispatch a pretty bad Arizona State team. And it just didn't happen. And sometimes, you know, you're going on the road, and this is all new to the kids, too. Um, it's a lot of expectations, a lot of eyes on this team. But Prime wants to win every time he touches the field. So he doesn't want these big letdowns because he knows what's ahead on this schedule. You still got Utah. You still got Oregon State. You still got several other teams. You know, this is like one of the bottom of the barrel teams in the Pac-12. You're going to have – some very decent opponents going forward. So if you bring this type of effort, you're going to get blasted. And that's why he's calling them out. It wasn't, you know, he's not satisfied with winning this game. It's if you bring this effort against some of those other teams, you're going to face down the line. You're going to have a repeat of Oregon. You're going to have a repeat of that first half, how USC was, you know, blowing them out the water. And honestly, it's going to happen to, you know, from another team that's not as good as them if you bring this type of effort. And I think a lot of this stuff is spilling over, you know, seeing Shador constantly getting sacked, the pressure on him, that 94-yard drive, you know, to tie the game up, that really set him into a frenzy. And I know he couldn't wait to get back there. You were happy that Mata made the field goal and everything after Shador marched him down. But at the same time, you – don't feel like you should have even been in that predicament after you took the lead. You know, if anything, if they would have went up 31-17, to 17, would have showed a little killer instinct on the road. But to even put yourself in that position that late, uh, it's not a good feeling on this level of a team. Because what it shows is you could play up to your competition sometimes and play down to your competition. And that's what he's afraid of. Because when you do that, you drop games you don't supposed to drop. Now, the Oregon-USC game, we all expected them to drop. Um, you know, you look at Utah, that's going to be a tall task. Oregon State, another tall task. But you feel like you could get one of those games um, if you got the proper focus. And let's face it, you know, they have to get Travis Hunter back. And, but he went off on his D, man. He knows he needs his bigs. He's challenging these guys uh, week in, week out, and we're going to see how they respond. You know, we're going to see how these guys respond to his techniques and the way that he's doing things. But he said, you know, everybody bears some of the responsibility, offense, defense, special teams, everyone. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, peace.